So for the past 30 days, I've done a challenge where I spoke to a camera every day for five to 10 minutes. And I did this in order to become a bit more comfortable while speaking to a camera. I recently started this YouTube channel and being able to speak to a camera is kind of important, but it's weird. It's, it's extremely unnatural and uncomfortable. It's not like speaking to a person at all. I'm not like one of those people that can just do it. I mean, just, just look how comfortable guys like Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat are. Do you remember a certain point in history, in YouTube history, with this channel where I did a little, uh, little photo editing and got a little bit of flack for it, just a tad? Today's episode, in its entirety, is going to be about my sunglasses. Now, I don't think speaking to a camera is all about talent. I don't think it's about talent at all. Some people might be a bit more natural while speaking to a camera, but I believe that it's a skill that can be learned and developed, which is why I did this challenge. So the rules for the challenge are that I have to speak for five or 10 minutes every single day. Once I start the recording, I'm not allowed to stop. And I have to do this every single day for 30 days. Otherwise, the challenge doesn't count. Hey, what's up? My name is Matt and this is my YouTube channel. On the first day, I was too scared to speak to my real camera. I found it extremely intimidating to look at this sort of big thing and to say stuff, I would just be unable to speak. So to get over this sort of fear, I decided that I will use my phone. This is a Canon camera, it's, it's quite decent. It's definitely, definitely a lot better than the front facing camera on my phone. But when I put it down, I found it so intimidating that I, I couldn't even speak to it, which was weird. I, I, I spent all this money on this camera and, and fancy lens and microphone and now i'm sitting speaking to you know the phone i have in my pocket i found that it was a lot less intimidating to speak to my phone instead of my actual camera so i recorded a seven and a half to eight minute video just rambling on and explaining the challenge i am also sort of starting a challenge that i will set for myself and i guess anyone can do it i also got the idea from a video that i saw on youtube um, but the premise of the challenge is you speak to a camera for five to 10 minutes for 30 days. You can speak about anything. The thing, the only rule is that you start speaking, you press record, you start speaking and you don't pause, you don't stop. You just keep going. It was an extremely bad video, but it was a start. I found that recording on the phone was good to just get the ball rolling. So this is day two of the talking to camera for 30 days challenge. On day two, I decided to face my fear and record on my big camera. And it really wasn't that bad. It was still uncomfortable and strange, but not because of the camera. It was more because of not speaking to an actual person. You know, my phone isn't an actual person and neither is my big camera. So I found it actually to be the same as speaking to the phone. It is now day three of the challenge. For today, I decided that I don't wanna not have anything to speak about. So I, I sort of picked a topic because it's the 31st of December today. I decided that I will speak about some of the goals I had in 2022 and uh, some of the goals I, I have for 2023. To make filming a bit less uncomfortable, to sort of mitigate the awkward silences, I would write a topic on a piece of paper and just two or three bullet points to have something to say. I wrote down some things on this card just so whenever I feel like I don't have anything to say then I could just look at this thing and you know have something even if it's just two words. It is day four, day five, day six of the 30 day speaking to camera challenge so we are well I am 20% done. Um, I must say I, I feel good about the challenge. Uh, today was a, was a busy day. After about six or seven days, I started to enjoy filming in a weird way. It, it was almost like writing in a journal. Not that I've ever written in a journal. I've actually never had a journal, but I would imagine it gives off the same kind of feeling than you know the type of videos I would record. I've also found that if I start the video off with a recap of my day, it would sort of get the ball rolling for the video and 
it would be less intimidating to transition to the topic I actually wanted to speak about. In some cases I found that I didn't really struggle to speak. I found it difficult to keep the videos shorter. There are quite a few videos that are longer than 20 minutes and you know at the start of the challenge if I had to speak for 20 minutes I would probably sh myself because it's so uncomfortable. In the middle of the challenge I would say after about 12 days 12 to 12 days to two weeks in I really started finding it difficult to film. We have no power that's why the lighting is so terrible. I am extremely extremely tired and uh, as you can see the power is off again. What's up? Welcome to day 11 of the speaking to camera challenge. Hey, what's up? It's uh, day 15. So I'm officially halfway with my challenge. And uh, yeah, um, I must say, I want this thing to end. Um, it's, yeah, I don't know why, but a month is taking me, well, it, f it feels longer than I thought it would. But anyway, um, it's no big deal. I committed to a month. And uh, so I will, I will stick to it. And uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of this flippin' challenge, I will see some actual proper improvement because yeah, it's been it's been some work, and I'm only halfway there. It was sort of getting a bit mundane and repetitive, and I wasn't doing anything different. I was just doing the same thing the whole time. I'm sitting there with my card, with a topic and a few bullet points, and I would just you know speak and. I would procrastinate throughout the whole day. I was too scared of somebody walking into my room during the day that I would put it off until the night. And at night I was tired. I wasn't really in the mood to film. And I found that your mood has a very big impact on the way that you appear on camera. I think that if I did it during the day, it would have been a lot better, but I was too scared that somebody would walk into my room and see me talking to a camera. And uh, I would just cringe too too much. It was it was too much to bear. So yeah. Day 16. It's day 17 of the challenge, and uh, I am tired. Uh, as you can see, the power is off again. It's been off for like it's been off since four o'clock, and it is I don't know what it is now. Um, I think it's half past ten at the moment. So it's been off for like six hours, six and a half hours, which is garbage. It's unacceptable. Hey, what's up? It's uh, day 19. Um, we are slowly, well, we, I am slowly but surely, you know, getting done with this challenge, 11 more days. Um, I think I've said it a few times, but I am excited to get this challenge over with. Hey, what's up? As you can see, the power is off again. I went through a bit of effort to set up a somewhat decent lighting situation I'm um, the best I can with no electricity um, so I, I just lit a candle over there and one over there I'm proud to say that I did record every single day for 30 days without missing a recording and I think that it did make a difference maybe not a big one but you know any improvement is good you know I'm not where I was and that's really actually all that matters at the end of the challenge, I really didn't struggle to speak at all. I would often speak for more than 15 minutes. I would still stumble over my words and say um a lot and go blank. Um, and um, um, sir, I, uh, um, um, and uh, um. But that's just because English isn't my first language and I have this weird accent. And when I try to speak somewhat without an accent, I really sound weird. And I struggle to form the words in my mouth. Gestures. Gest gestures. If English was my own language, I think I would have been able to progress a lot quicker. Like for me, if I had to speak in my own language, which is Afrikaans, I think I would have been able to do this a lot more comfortably. But now I have to sort of think about certain words and how to use them because I'm not sure if I'm using the word correctly and that makes the challenge a bit more difficult. The sort of number one takeaway from this challenge is consistency. I think that is probably the, the biggest thing. Um, you know, 
recording a bad video every day over 30 days will make you better and each video or each time you speak to a camera will be better than the previous time well that's maybe maybe not every day will be better than the one before but over time on average you will improve and i don't think it only applies to this challenge but to sort of anything you want to learn if you want to see improvement you need to consistently do the thing you don't have to get the, the best gear or the best whatever to do it you just need to do it as best you can on a consistent basis and that sort of doing it the whole time will compound over time and eventually it will make a big difference i would say i got over the fear of filming i mean i've recorded over like seven hours worth of footage by now and i wouldn't say i'm i'm afraid of filming when i'm in my room in this setting i don't think i'm i'm uncomfortable if i had to go film in public i think it would be a different story that would still be incredibly uncomfortable for me but yeah that's that's a bit further down the road. This challenge was just for me to get a bit more comfortable filming in my room. So do I think the challenge was successful? Do I think that there was big improvement? I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure when I edit the video and I see the, f the clips from day one and day 30, or the clips I'm filming right now, if I make a direct comparison, I would be able to see a big difference. But I think the challenge was worth it. I definitely got over the fear of filming and that's what it was all about and I also think I am more comfortable um, I feel more comfortable I'm not a hundred percent there you know the way I speak to a camera isn't perfect but it's a lot better and if I do this for a few years or a few months even I think that there will be a, a very big improvement you don't have to be perfect when you start and you also don't have to be perfect at the end of the challenge um, no, you just have to improve. If you if you are not where you were, then that's good. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day, and bye.